one of the greatest challenges we have in agribusiness is silos. Now, you think those are great things because we've got them all over our farms. Problem is, in agribusiness, the silos aren't great. The accounting team doesn't like the sales team. The sales team is not getting along with the marketing team. Nobody's getting along with the operations team, and who knows what research is doing. We have all these little silos that we operate in. Life and business is too difficult for us to have these silos. We need to lead That's why it's so important for us to lead and make through what I call silo destruction. <laughs> Here's the best part. It's tough to do. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. We wouldn't have that problem across all of our agribusinesses. We're going to talk today in the next hour of how you can tear down these silos and start cooperating with each other and working together. It takes the right combination of leadership. It's part process, part culture, part leadership, and part the people that you've got Over on the, the team. Over the course of 20 some years, I got myself involved in a few silos. Let me tell you about how this would work. It wasn't ill-intentioned silos. What would happen is every three to four years, we would have a new general manager come in. And sometimes that general manager would have a background in sales, sometimes in operations, and sometimes that general manager had a background in business administration or accounting side of the business. And when a general manager came in with a sales background, the sales team, we rejoiced. We were going to have more products, more services, more programs. We we're going to customize more of our programs, products, and services to meet our customers. We we're going to capture market share. We were happy. And under the weight of all of that, the operations team and the accounting team were struggling to, ke to keep our products fresh and, and administered in a timely manner. Then three or four years would go by and a new general manager would come in and he had a background or she had a background in operations. And she would see this and say, well, this is all wrong. We can't operate this way. It's inefficient and it doesn't, uh, it's not cost effective. We're going to go back the other way a little bit and we would have less programs, less services, less, pro, uh, less products, and we would do less customization. It would be more standardization. And under the term of those three to four years of that general manager, the sales team now was under the burden of trying to be out in the marketplace and stay competitive because we used to be a lot more than what we are now. And this pendulum would swing back and forth with these silos would build and one would be strong, one would be weak. It's a terrible way to operate a business. I offer to you today that there's a better way, and that is somewhere right in between, obviously. And the way to do that, certainly it starts with leadership. It has to start with leadership. But it really takes hold and is effective when the whole team, the frontline team, at the customer service leaders and people that implement customer service, the sales team, the sales people, territory managers, and the frontline production managers, ship leaders, and people in production, those key players in the production team, when they buy in and they set ground rules that establish how you will decide what programs offer, what products to stock, and what programs to offer to your customers. Once you have those ground rules of how you're going to operate, how you're going to make those decisions, then you can move forward in a methodical way and make good decisions instead of having this swing from all sales to all operations to all accounting or whatever the case is. And I was a part of all three or four of those different environments over the course of 20-some years. And I can tell you that 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 rare time when we pulled all together and as a team figured out how to operate was the best. Didn't mean we got along and, and loved each other and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. It meant we, set a, we had a set of ground rules that we knew how we were going to operate. 